Hey guys, it's Dustin with the PPC Pros talking about conversion tracking, whether to use Google AdWords conversion tracking or Google Analytics. What's the choice between the two, why, and what you need to know? Stay tuned. All right, so Google conversion tracking, whether Analytics or AdWords, each has their place depending on your website, your goals, if you're doing e-commerce or lead generation if you have a lot of uh, channels bringing you traffic organic direct email as well as or just uh, Google AdWords itself so a couple of these things come into play what I wanted to do is just go over a couple things to keep in mind and you know help you make the decision on which to use there's not really a wrong way to do it I think there's just a better way for your scenario all right let's take a quick look at this presentation this is very very short but basically AdWords versus Google Analytics conversion tracking, why we prefer AdWords tracking in most cases. So first thing is different attribution models. Yes, you can change them, but if you don't know anything about attribution models, what they mean, how they work, how they affect each other, you know, a lot of, a lot of people don't, then it's just something to make life a little easier. So for example, if we're importing conversions through Google Analytics into AdWords for our AdWords optimization, then if we're using default attribution models in both uh, analytics and AdWords, what's going to happen is there's a lot of times, there's potentially a lot of times where Google Analytics may not give credit to AdWords when AdWords was part of the conversion path, but not, um, but not the most recent, so not the last, uh, last non-direct anyway. So basically what happens is if somebody were to click an ad on your Google AdWords um, in one of your Google AdWords campaign and then later on that day they get an email from you for some reason they click on the link in that email back to your website and they convert even though AdWords was part of that path and in your mind you might consider it to be a pretty integral part of that path Google Analytics won't identify that as an AdWords conversion with their default attribution model and so it will not that conversion will not get imported into AdWords so it gives you a little bit of a blind spot and this is you know something to consider if most of your sales happen as a result of AdWords traffic coming to your site even if they come back later to a different channel but you know you're not doing a lot else you're not there's not a lot else shaking out there that's getting traffic to you for the first time and you want to give AdWords a lot of the credit for these sales then you know a lot of times it's better to either update your Google Analytics attribution model to be last AdWords click or just use the AdWords conversion tracking pixel and not have to worry about importing goals and how those two things are playing uh, playing well together. So just something to keep in mind. Um, different attribution models confuse people. Also, um, the day that a conversion is credited in AdWords versus Google Analytics is different. So for AdWords, it's the last, it's going to be the date of the last AdWords click. So if you've got a longer sales cycle, let's say it takes a week for people to convert after a click then with AdWords um, you're gonna see the date of that conversion happen uh, a week ago when they clicked the last ad click in Google Analytics you'll see that conversion show up the day of the conversion which is a week later so this is also uh, an issue for people optimizing who don't understand um, the path length of their conversions sometimes they're looking at data and let's say they looked at you know last week's date range in AdWords, and they don't see any con uh, they don't see any conversions today. But two weeks from now, they look back at that same date range and they see a conversion. They wonder wh where did this come from? How do we get that? Or what happens is they're seeing sales in their shopping cart in the back end of their website that happened today, but they're not seeing any um, AdWords conversions that happen on the same date. A lot of times this can be why. Um, but just keep in mind of those two differences: attribution models and also the date that conversions are credited are different by default. Um, the second thing, especially for e-commerce, this comes into play, is um, issues with cross-domain and conversion tracking attribution. So we talked about attribution a little bit. Um, cross-domain conversions, that's a little bit different. Uh, so basically, a good example of this is when you have a third-party checkout process, maybe use PayPal. So I'll show you the second slide here. Helps visualize this a little bit. Basically, let's just say somebody clicked on your AdWords ad. Doesn't matter when they come back to your website, they're shopping around. They say, "Hey, I really like this product." 
they check out, but your site offers PayPal checkout, as it might be a good idea, and people take that option. So with PayPal, depending on the way it's set up, they may get taken off of your site completely to paypal.com or a subdomain uh, and check out and then come back to your site you know they get a re they get redirected from paypal.com back to your site after the order has been confirmed and they've, they've made the payment um, and that's fine right you still get you're still getting paid everything's going fine without having cross domain tracking set up correctly in analytics which you have to do manually yourself um, what will happen is you'll see a lot of times paypal.com gets the credit for the sale and not AdWords. So once again, if you're importing conversions from Google Analytics into AdWords, you're not gonna see that conversion show up in AdWords because it's gonna get credited to paypal.com and not Google AdWords. So obviously, yes, you can fix this with cross-domain tracking if you set it up correctly. Um, in Google Analytics, then it can help pass through that credit and um, allow you to import that gold back into AdWords. But point number three is that why don't we use Google Analytics tracking, especially with issues like this and, and, and play, if we know that there's a third party checkout um, shopping cart or checkout process is because we don't want to have to figure out what settings are already in Google Analytics and change a bunch of stuff. We want to keep it simple. We don't want to reinvent the wheel for a lot of people you know, cross domain uh, conversion tracking can be very confusing. I mean, I'm not an expert in it myself, which is another reason why I like to use the AdWords Pixel. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of Google Analytics uh, developers and experts that can get that working and operating fine, but to me, um, unless I have a really strong reason to do so, I'm just going to use what I know works for the most part without having a whole lot of a whole lot of headaches and having to dig through analytics. This is especially true if people let's say you're doing this for a client and or even for if you're a marketing manager for your boss and they're used to seeing Google Analytics reports a certain way and then just messing around with the uh, with the settings for cross domain may play into that maybe you've got multiple websites I mean this is just a whole can of worms that you may open up just by messing around with it my personal advice if it doesn't really matter if you're not you know using analytics too heavily for your reporting or for anything like that that's why we just stick with the AdWords tracking. That's my recommendation. Uh, last point here is this doesn't really mean that Google Analytics tracking doesn't have its place or it shouldn't be used. It really should in some cases. Um, a good example of that is when you have a whole bunch of different channels sending you traffic. I mean, it's great for tracking how users interact with each channel on the way to a conversion or a goal. So it can be very helpful. Um, but as far as importing that into AdWords, when we're looking at AdWords, reports and how that is affecting sales you know we can see that AdWords is part of that path by using the AdWords pixel so once again if you've got a lot going on a lot of different channels driving traffic to your website as part of an effort to see all that data in one place yes use Google Analytics tracking you know set up goals for for purchases and things like that but obviously we don't have to import that into AdWords for the reasons listed above. We can just use the AdWords pixel to track sales that way in AdWords, make our optimization a little bit easier and know that we're getting, for all intents and purposes, good data. So hope this helps clear up some of the questions behind this. Um, these issues here can really get you stumped if you're wondering why you're not seeing conversions that you know happened uh, in your AdWords account. And you know that AdWords is typically the only channel um, that you're getting traffic from for acquisition and I hopefully this will clear up some things if you have any questions comment below and thanks for watching take care